Hi everyone, welcome to another video in the motion series, this one on tension, forces and acceleration. This video is very similar to the videos we've done, <coughs> balancing forces, uh, accelerating objects and objects on a slope. They all centre around this idea that the sum of the forces is equal to the mass times the acceleration. But this is a particular type of question that some people struggle with, I think because they miss one key concept, and that is if you have a vehicle accelerating, all parts of the vehicle are accelerating at the same rate. So the acceleration of the trailer back here is the, the same as the acceleration of this first load here. To explain what I mean by that, we'll give some values and then we'll try solving a practice question. So these values won't change. First of all, the rear load is 2,000 kilograms and the front load can be 3,000 kilograms and we'll take the actual driving part of the truck to be weightless. Now if the driving force is equal to here, 1,000 newtons and we know there must be some tension in this cable here in order to actually be accelerating the rear load. What we're going to find is, is first of all, what is the acceleration of this truck? And second of all, what is the tension? Okay, first of all, the acceleration. This is not the only force acting on, the, on this object over here. We have the gravity force here and here, as well as the normal forces here and here. Since we can assume the truck is neither sinking into the ground nor lifting off the ground and flying into the air, we don't have to worry about those forces. We're only going to worry about the forces acting parallel to the ground. As of right now, there's no resistive force described for this vehicle. So there's no force there or there. So finding the acceleration of this object is actually really easy. The sum of the forces is just equal to 1000 newtons and that must equal the mass times the acceleration. Since this force is acting on this entire object here, the mass is equal to a total of 5000 kilograms. <clears throat> so 1000 equals 5000 A or 1000 over 5000 equals the acceleration 0.2 meters per second squared is equal to the acceleration of this object. So acceleration is equal to a fifth or 0.2 meters per second squared. Now let's find the tension in this wire here. So even though the force of this uh, truck's engine is accelerating the whole object, this particular part of the truck, the rear load, is being accelerated by the force in that wire there, which really does come from the force up here. So what we do to find the tension, which is the force there, is take that rear load in isolation. And we say, okay, that rear load, we know it's accelerating at the same rate as the entire object together. So the acceleration is equal to 0.2. We know it weighs 2,000 kilograms. And we know it has a force acting on it, which is the tension force. So a force there, T. So now we look at just this object in isolation. We have the sum of the forces. Well, there's only one force that's equal to tension. And that's equal to the mass times the acceleration. T is equal to 2000 times 0 0.2, which is equal to 400 newtons. So the tension in this cable here is 400 newtons, and that keeps the reload accelerating at the same rate as the entire system is accelerating. Let's make this question a little more difficult. So first of all, I think I can leave that. Yeah, I'll leave that. But I'll take away this. 
Let's assume now there is some resistance. Say the rear wheel breaks down. All of a sudden a resistive force of 800 newtons is applied. So looking at this entire object, we have 1000 newtons to the right and 800 newtons to the left. We think to ourselves, okay, there's more force to the right than the left, so this system will accelerate that way, in the positive direction. Let's figure out now the tension in this uh, cable there and the acceleration of this system. So I'll remove this and leave it as a mystery. Okay, so the sum of the forces for the entire system is equal to MA. The sum of the forces is given by 1000 take away 800 which is equal to 5000 A. Rearranging that's 200 over 5000 which is equal to 2 on 50 that's 4 on 100 I think that's 0 0.04 yeah 0.04 meters per second squared. So it is still accelerating but at a much slower rate. So acceleration is equal to 0.04 meters per second squared. Let's find out now the tension in that cable there. So we look at the rear load in isolation and we have, sorry I'll move this over here. So drawing that rear load again. We know it must be accelerating at the same rate as the, entire, at the, as the entire system. So acceleration is equal to 0.04. The mass is 2000. It has a force of 800 newtons acting in that direction. And it must have some tension force acting in that direction. So now, looking only at this object, the sum of the forces is equal to the tension. Take away 800. And that must be equal to the mass, 2000, times the acceleration, which is equal to 0.04. So T equals 2000 times 0.04, which is 80, plus 800, bringing that 800 over, to a total of 880 newtons. That is the tension force here. One more thing I'd like to show is that we can solve this question multiple ways. There are, in often, often in physics there are many ways to solve the same question. Let's now only look at the front load because the front load due to Newton's third law for every action there's, there's an equal and opposite reaction if there's a tension force pulling this object this way it must also be pulling this object that way. So the front object, the front load, has a mass of 3,000 kilograms. It has a tension force going that way. And it has a driving force going that way. So 1,000 and then the mystery. And it also has an acceleration of 0.04 in this case. So the sum of the forces is equal to MA. The sum of the forces being 1,000 take away T equals 3000 times 0.04. If we add T to that side, we'll do this slowly, so 1000 is equal to 3000 times 0.04, that's 120. And if we add T to both sides, we get that T gets cancelled and we get a positive T over here. So then if we take 120 from both sides, we get 880 is equal to T. The same answer that we got over there. So we can look at either this object or this object in isolation. The key to these questions is first figuring out what the acceleration is of the entire system and then you know the acceleration of each individual object. You can start working out the forces between here. It would be possible to have a question with three loads like this. One, two, three and the truck and again the first step 
in this type of question would be to figure out the acceleration of the entire system and then start from the back and work your way forwards.